I've got a question. Is the 12 Pro Max too big for a case? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. Mindy here. Happy 2021. And I thought we would start the year off with checking out some of the new cases for my 12 Pro Max. And by the end of the video, we're going to make a life-changing decision to decide to go with a case or without a case for this baby. <laughs> yeah. As you can tell, we have a bunch of cases to unbox and to check out. Currently, I'm rocking a leather case from Nomad and we also have some third-party cases over here as well as a lot of other Apple cases, which I'm really, really excited to test out. Apple cases are like one of my favorite. All these will be linked in the description below so you can check it out. And now it's finally time to unbox them. I've been waiting to unbox them for a really long time. <sighs> okay. Oh gosh, I took so long to arrange them nicely. This is a lot of stuff. First, we're going to check out this customized case from Rhino Show. And I customized the design by myself, so I'm really excited to see how it turned out. Yep. Yeah. Mmm, okay. Don't really need the box anymore. I know there's like a trend going around whether you should keep your iPhone box or not, but we clearly don't need this. Rhino Shield is one of the third-party brands that make really, really protective phone cases. As you can see, this layer here is super duper protective and in case if it drops, it will absorb the shock. So that's nice. And at the back, of course, is the customized design that I created. I'm a big fan of a lot of TV shows, so I actually wrote down a few of my favorite quotes. This phrase, you can play, stay old on, is a phrase from The 100, one of my favorites. And we have Good Night, Just Good Night from Bly Manor. And this one, this is also from Bly Manor. And the love written here, I thought that it would be kind of nice to have different fonts and different colors for the letters. So there it is. Overall, I like what I created. It feels nice. I can definitely tell that this phone case is thicker than this. solid material. I like it and I like that it's so customized. Like the moment you stare at it, it's, you know it's yours. I mean, I just have a thing for customized items and oh, just looking at it makes me smile and I'm so happy to see it. <sighs> the next one we have is actually the Nomad one, which I unboxed previously. I'll link it below if you guys want to check out. But this leather case is one of my favorite this leather case surprised me because of how light it is. I really like how this feels and I've been using this for the past two weeks. Minimalistic, black, clean and so light and I love this. So thank you Nomad for sending this my way. And next we have a lot of cases from Apple. I got a variety of colors just so that I can mix and match and see which fits the best with this 12 Pro Max. Because this specific blue is so difficult to match and yeah, it just looks so nice on its own and I kind of feel like I'm not doing it justice when I put a case on it. So this leather sleeve actually looks bigger than in the pictures and I'm actually kind of surprised. Yeah, I never, whoa, 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 it's really red and huge, it's huge, oh my god. Okay, what's in this? Oh, you can even put a card in it. Cool. So you just slide your phone like that into it. And, oh crap, what's that? Oh my God, it just changed. It just changed to this color. Do you like know that it's red? Oh my God, this is smart. I'm just so surprised. So like the moment I push this in, it has a thing sound and it just changed to red. And the color of this time is the exact same color as the red sleeve. Very nice touch and it's just such an Apple thing. My phone knows that it's a red case and I feel like there's some kind of technology inside the case itself talking to the phone, letting it know that, oh, this is a red case and just change it to red, you know, to match the whole thing, the whole look. This sleeve is more than just the home for your phone. You can actually put in cards into this additional compartment so you can actually just leave the house with this leaf and you're good. Kind of smart, Apple. I really applaud you for this and no wonder it's like so freaking expensive, one, two, nine. Okay, what else is in the box? Oh my gosh, what's this? So you can just hook this like this, put your phone inside, put your cards inside and just go out of the house and you don't have to carry anything else. Would you guys do this? Would you guys rock this? 
I feel like this sleeve is for people who go to places where they can't really use their phone but they just have to bring their phones around so that they can pick up phone calls whenever they need to and check the time when they need to but I wouldn't see myself using this a lot because I need access to the phone often and I can't see myself doing this all the time. It's hard to pull this out, I swear. Okay, there you go. Well, this is not exactly for me, but let me know in the comments below if you like something like that. <laughs> Put this aside. Silicon case and we got this in citrus pink. Okay, I got this color because it was so loud and bold and I wanted something that is loud and bold. <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Ooh, it's so nicely wrapped. Yep, very, very nice smell though. Oh, and you can see this like round thing here. Indicates that it's MagSafe compatible. Very, very cool. I like it. Whoa! 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 Oh my gosh, there's like... <laughs> when I put this in, it has like an automatic uh, animation that appears. Oh my gosh, I want to see again. The cases are smart now. <laughs> Exciting! Yes! Oh my gosh, each time you put the case on to the phone, it has this animation. It's so freaking cool! Whoa! Whoa! My, my case is actually talking to my phone. And that's like... Whoa. That is why you get Apple case. <laughs> gosh, I don't think you can get this animation anywhere else except from Apple cases itself. So that is very nice take. And if you like the whole Apple thing, I can see why you would go for this. And the color is so freaking nice. I like it. Oh. Gosh, actually it looks pretty nice on the blue. Damn! Okay, you know what? I think I need to see it under different lighting. Let me know if you guys think this fits the blue. Okay, let's try the other colors. Let's see this. This is the silicon case in plum color. I wish they had a maroon color because I like maroon. I like just generally like red. This is a very solemn color, I would say. Oh gosh, Apple Apple just has like incredible scent. <laughs> ah, the animation is out! I get so excited whenever I see the animation pop out because it's like just so smart. The blue definitely looks very nice with this. I thought it wouldn't, but it actually does. So, woo, this is a nice color to match, honestly. It looks so much nicer in person than in the store. I feel like the same color as my hoodie right here. It matches. Oh gosh, it matches. I did not plan for this. <laughs> okay, but I think I prefer the citrus um, pink. The pink citrus. Pink citrus. And next we see the white case. Let's see. Ooh! Oh my gosh! So the animation is like a different color for every case. The animation was white. My phone knows that this is white. It's a white case. That's really, really smart. I'm so freaking impressed. I feel like MagSafe, this round thing, has some kind of tech in it that talks to the MagSafe thing here. I know these are like little things, but all these little things actually add up to the entire experience of using Apple. Like its cases, the phone, like the, the whole thing. It's just so seamless and I love it. Oh, and yes, white does look good. It feels so thin that I can feel the edges of my phone. That's nice. Hmm, not bad. Now this is a clear case. This is actually something kind of controversial because some people really hate the design of this and I haven't really actually seen it in person. There we go. Very, very interesting design here. Oof. Okay, I don't know. What do you guys think about this? Oh gosh, I can't decide if I like it or I hate it. So this case, if you flip it to this side, you can actually see some words written here. iPhone MagSafe, designed by Apple in California, assembled in China. And this is a hard case. I don't know if this would yellow. I hope it doesn't. A lot of people hate on this case. They just didn't like this, like this white little part here. I guess it's like a unique look, but I just can't tell if I like it or not. Hmm, I actually do have this third party case, this plastic case here, definitely thicker than the Apple one. I feel like Apple's clear case has its edges and cutouts very specifically designed for the 12 Pro Max. But I definitely love how the Apple case feels as compared to this third party case. This 
feels more plasticky and oh one thing just one thing the bottom is not fully covered whereas the third party case the bottom is fully covered i have no idea why you do this what if it drops and this parts get damaged after testing the reason why it isn't fully covered is so that you can remove this hard case easily from the bottom okay next we have the leather cases from apple gosh these are not cheap i mean like when is apple ever cheap mm. why are there like so many paper stuff here who needs this for a freaking case i thought you were trying to save the environment apple okay 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 this feels different this is nomad's black leather case and this is apple's black leather case i feel like apple's leather case is lighter than the one from nomad and yeah different leather feels the one from apple is smoother yeah i swear i love the freaking animation and this is protective all around so that's nice this is pretty light I mean, the phone itself is already heavy enough, so it's nice. It's, I appreciate it a lot whenever the cases are lightweight. The cutouts for the speaker and the charging is much more um, precise than Nomad's, so that's interesting. So this is very nice if you want to rock that clean, black, minimalistic look with an Apple logo here. Um, it's very, very Apple. It like screams at you, Apple! I prefer the Nomad one so much more just because it's so clean. Like the entire back doesn't have a single logo. It's just all plain black leather. So I like that a lot. Oh gosh, it's so hard to remove. It's like so precisely fit. Next we have the Baltic blue leather case. Ooh, okay. Wow. I got this blue because I wanted to know how similar it is to the iPhone 12 Pro Max Pacific blue. And what do you guys think? What do you guys think? You think it's similar or not? So let's put this on. Ooh, I just love the animation. Gosh, I love it so freaking much. The blue on the case feels much darker than the iPhone's blue. I feel like it's too solemn for my taste and I don't love this, but I see why people would carry this around just because blue and blue it matches. Yeah, definitely not me. I think I'm more of a black leather kind of girl. Well, it's well built, it's leather, and for people who like blue, this may be something that you like. Next, we have this. Oh my gosh, second last thing to unbox. California poppy color is basically yellow. All this paperwork. Oh my gosh, this is gonna fall. Will the animation be yellow on this? Oh my gosh, it's yellow. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, actually, the yellow looks kind of hot. I don't know if it matches. I, I would need to see it under different lights. I was really worried that the blue iPhone 12 Pro Max wouldn't match with the colors of the case, but you actually don't have to worry that much just because of how dark the Pacific blue color is. Yellow really screams at you, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, right. And this part here, the volume up and down button, it like glistens under the light. Very, very nice. Did not notice it for the other cases. Finally, this leather wallet. <laughs> I think a lot of people got this as Christmas gifts for people, so it's like out of stock for a while. There you go, there's something inside. It tells you that you can put your card inside like that. So when I drop it, it doesn't automatically go, go there. But if I move it around, it would find a spot and stick to it. Ooh, oh my gosh, there's a different kind of animation for this leather wallet, so... There you go. Gosh, every accessory has its own MagSafe animation. That's so cool, Apple. You're so cool. One thing to note though, you cannot charge your phone via MagSafe if you have the wallet at the back of the phone. Somehow the charge just cannot pass through. But honestly, do you even still bring out cards? Because like all the cards that I use are actually inside my phone, the wallet app. So like I don't really actually bring out any cards. And of course, you can rock this leather wallet without a case because it's all magnet and it just sticks to the phone because your phone has magnet inside. Oh my gosh, it just sticks to the case as well. All things magnet. And if you're not an Apple case or you don't support MagSafe like this customized case, yeah, there's no MagSafe. You slip it on and it just falls. But yeah, we have unboxed all the cases and I'll link them all below. If you guys are interested, you can check them out. 
But here's the thing. What matters to me when I'm choosing a case is first, protection. Second, average price. It can't be too expensive. Third, quality. Fourth, doesn't add much weight to this phone because this phone is already kind of heavy. When we're comparing Apple cases versus third party cases, it's really basically price versus quality. Apple cases are expensive, I won't lie, but they last. And the feels and the material is so much better than third party cases. So these are the cases that I bought for my iPhone 10. This is from Tech 21. This is a clone that I got online. And this is Apple's original silicon case, white. So I bought this case for like 10 bucks and it had the Apple logo and everything. It's like silicon, it felt great, it looked great when I first bought it. But now you can see, after one year of use, it started breaking apart. The Apple logo started fading. This silicone layer just started peeling off. Whereas this original OG Apple case is still standing strong. The Apple logo is still there, nothing is peeling off. You can tell, see for yourself, which quality is better. I mean, I respect it. If you want to keep changing your cases whenever it breaks down, it still is like slightly cheaper than getting an Apple case. But I just like how reliable Apple is. And I mean, you wouldn't get breakdowns like this. I mean, this is really bad, this breakdown. <laughs> yeah, and I kept this phone case just for this video. <laughs> if I were to choose a third party case, I would go with those with a name, a brand, because those tend to be more reliable. Casey5 has pretty awesome case, very, very nice design. You can even customize them, but it is not cheap. And according to some of my friends who use it, it is quite heavy on your iPhone as well. So just note. Brown Shoe is another brand that I trust and they make very, very protective cases. And the customized cases are actually cheaper than the ones on Casey5 and that's why I got with this. But it's really up to you. It depends on what you want in a case and how clumsy you are. I am kind of clumsy, so yeah. For cases that are the most protective, I would say Spigen, Tech 21, and Phone Rabble. But most of these are quite thick and that is why I really, really like Phone Rabble's cases. Knowing his brand, he would probably make something that can withstand drops. <laughs> But yeah, let me know what you think and what color is your favorite, which would you choose? What kind of setup are you going for, case or caseless? For me, when I'm going out, I would slap on a case just because I'm clumsy and I know accidents happen. But when I'm home, I would take off a case and use it naked because I just like to use it without a case. But yeah, everything I mentioned will be linked below. I hope this video helps some of you. And if you enjoyed this, subscribe for more. It really does help the channel. And as usual, stay minty and cherry. Goodbye.